Welcome, everyone. Sit down, grab yourself a drink, put your feet up, put the fire on, even though it's mid-summer. Um, <laughs> it's a cold summer in the world. Yeah. Um, um, yes, yeah, sit down, because um, XMVR are back again. Um, I'm Darren. I'm here, joined in the recording suite by Mr. Matt Clements. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you doing? And also joined... Over the internet, because he's not available to us because he's currently locked away for his own and our safety, <laughs> Mr. Ben Skinner. I'm not. I've, I'm, I'm on the internet now as a, as a robot. But hello, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I you, exist. Are you both... I believe. You both good? You both bad? Tell me. Tell me about it. I'm fucking awful. How are you? <laughs> Smashing. I just, I'm surviving, just. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, good, back in good, here. Good for some. Well, e three's gone, um, and we're here to pick up pieces and just see our top picks of um, of the show. What we liked, what we didn't like, what we look forward to, what mm. we're dreading, um, and all that jazz. But before we get into it, let's do a bit of a housekeeping. I'll do this really quickly. Okay. Man of bed, did you know that there's 98% of people that click on our videos aren't subscribed? Did you know that? Oh my god, there's only 2% of people that are subscribed. So why don't people, why don't they actually click on it and subscribe, it and subscribe to my videos? It's only um, one click, uh, and then click it again, and you get the little navigation box, and then it'll be a top when our videos come out for us. Oh, cool, let's get into the video. E3 picks. So, now I've got my breath back. <laughs> Top E three picks. I guess we'll just go round table. Um metaphorically. Um so I'm gonna start off by saying my top was well one of my top, sorry, uh, Battlefield. Um, Love the last Battlefield. Uh, First Battlefield I got into, excited for the next one. Oh, I can't wait till it drops. Boys? Mm, yeah, I I'm probably in the same boat. More. I could not agree more. This is probably my most hyped hyped game. Um of of this year, whatever comes out on October, yeah, absolutely. Matt, um, yeah, I would say probably, yeah, it's one of the games I'm kind of keeping very good tabs on. Uh, since it's now become the most my well go-to shooter now since COD's been a bit used and abused. Yeah, it's been a bit in the war. But it's, it's just going to be—it's just going to be a lot of fun. 128 players, mm. um, yeah, you know, big maps. Uh, it's just going to be a lot of fun. And I can't wait. Can't wait to get new, into it. New mm. scenery, new, new scenery, new surroundings. Yeah. <laughs> new battlefield, new me. <laughs> <laughs> new year, new me. <laughs> mm. Who wants to go next? Well, uh, Matt, you should go next. <laughs> well, I think two sort of caught my eye. First was Falls Horizon 5, because one, I like Forza, two, I was massively wrong about the location. Mm. Mm. You, you did take that off my list. I was, I'm was i excited about VH5, it was what I'm apparently saying. I'm, I'm excited too, I can't wait. Yeah, as I say, I'm looking forward to it, because, I mean, it's Forza, and it's Falls Horizon, so it's going to be, you know, look, look like pure pornography, and it's going to be fun to play. It's your, it's your Tinder bio, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I do look like pure. <laughs> Looks like pure pornography and fun to play. <laughs> DM me. <laughs> DM for more details. <laughs> um, yeah, so Forza Horizon, excited. Yeah, and one I'm quite excited for, I think it's probably his thing, uh, Elder, um, Elden Ring. Elden Ring? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The, no, that's um, the one that's been made by the, uh, oh, the creator of... Game of Thrones, I think. Yes, he's had a hand, yeah, from the folks from 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 software with everyone's favourite BDSM game, Dark Souls and uh, <laughs> Sekiro and Bloodborne, and teaming up with George R. R. Martin, a man famous for you know people being killed in most gruesome ways. <laughs> So you know what that game is just going to be. Like. Yeah, uh, I do really like the look of it because I think it just seems like, a, from what I've seen, it's more of a kind of a more opened, more open world Dark Souls uh, kind of game, which I do like the look of, and it's from software, and you know they've kind of a bit of a role these days. So I am quite interested in that one. Uh, but then other stuff like Dying, I don't know, Dying. 
Donut? Yeah, Donut 2 was. Yeah, it was. Well, it wasn't announced, announced, but there was a lot more details about yeah, it. Yeah, there was a lot more details. I do like the look, like look of Dying Light. Far Cry 6 looks solid, even if it's, you know, here's the next... Um, here's Far Cry again. Here's Far Cry again, but we've got... Gus from Breaking Yeah, Bad. yes, because I, I wasn't going to try and pronounce his, the actor's full name, because that's a tongue twister and a half, and I don't... Fantastic actor, I can't remember his name. Uh, Giancarlo Espinata? So, I mean, you know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments if you really want to, but yeah, yeah, great actor. I kind of do like the look of it, it looks fairly solid. Uh, I don't know what else. Uh, Gardens of the Galaxy, which. Very good. Does look very good. I mean, some question marks because. Um, don't make the same mistake the Avengers did. Yeah, don't make the same yeah. mistake Avengers made because. <laughs> That was a bit of a missed opportunity. Uh, yeah, I think that's really the main kick point from it. Um, I know e freeze conferences, because we're recording this on the 19th, will be in three days' time on the 22nd, so there probably might be a couple more stuff that we might have to come around to, possibly, like... Maybe, but... Like more Battlefield details yeah, and... I can't imagine we'll miss too much. Yeah, we won't miss some massive details, but yeah, those are the kind of the main points I kind of liked from E3. What about yourself, Ben? Okay. <laughs> Cracks fingers. Here we go. <laughs> um, E3, I think, for the mainstream games, uh, like I've already covered Battlefield 2042. I'm a huge fan of Battlefield, so I'm definitely that's like my top, top game that I'm looking for. Um, also a big Halo fan, so I'm waiting for Halo Infinite. I'm basically fangirling a lot on Microsoft and <laughs> Bethesda stuff here. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah uh, Halo Infinite, I can't wait for. The multiplayer stuff looks absolutely fantastic. Mm. Um, and I'm really looking forward to playing like the, um, the storyline of that as well. Um, Starfield, I'm still pretty interested in mm. as well. Yeah. Uh, not heard or seen much of that uh, since the last new E3. Um, I still need to catch up mainly on most of this E3 stuff as, mm. as well, as best I can, but from what I've seen so far, um, those those three really stick out. Oh, but Back for Blood, that really that like, sticks really out to you. Yeah, Back for I Blood. Really, I really like that. Because it's, it's kind of very near to um, Left 4 Dead. Uh, what the fuck is it called? Left 4 Dead. Yeah, it's very it's Left 4 Dead vein. Yeah, it's made by the same people. Yeah, same oh, it's, it's obvious. People. It's obvious it's made by the same yeah, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's definitely up there on my list. Like, uh, so it'll be really interested. Uh, Dying Light Two as well. I, mean, I covered quite a, a while back. That looks really interesting. And the first one was just a fantastic game. Yeah. Uh, really incredible stuff. Um, uh, just thinking. Ooh. I don't. Forza Horizon Five, yeah, I'm interested in it, in that um, coming out as well. Um, yeah, I'll be. Looking, I'm, I'll be I am, I'm excited for um, Dying Light Two. I liked Dying Light One, but I didn't love it, so I'm looking forward to the new one. Mm. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, I think actually, I think the one thing I would say for me is there's a lot of like co-op shooters. Cause there was yeah, you got Back for Blood. I think there's like a it's not Friday the 13th, it's, um, oh god, I can't remember the film, Bruce Campbell, um, Evil Dead? Evil Dead, yeah, because there's that, that's another one. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, there was one shown towards the end of Microsoft conference, which I can't, I can't remember, I can't remember the name from the top of my head, but it, like I say, that's another one, full player, one with involving vampires. <laughs> I can't remember what that is, but I think yeah, I remember. Yeah, as I remember said, the like the names names that do escape me from time to time, but I do remember that one, which I'm probably gonna have to try and Google. Mm. Uh, got the article right in front of me. Where are you? Uh, Redfall. That's the one. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, Redfall. Yeah, names. Yeah, names escape. That. Yeah, there's quite a few there. A couple of games that I just recall. Psychonauts Two. Aka the best game that I've never played, because <laughs> as I said, I really do need to play Fox Fighting Up One because that just looks like a just fun. Just looks fun. Mm. Um, Everyone puts in their cult classics. 
Yeah, it, yeah. Psychonauts is one of those games that is a bit of a cult, yeah cult classic. It wasn't didn't sell very well, but it was very highly received. Yeah. A weird one of mine. I don't have the Series X yet, but mm. I'm, I'm hoping to soon. Fly Simulator on the console. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why, but it excites me. I don't know why. I literally, I cannot put my finger off why that interests me. Yeah, fly... Cause I think that... I've never been too into fly, fly games at all. I don't think I've... I've never, I've never owned one, and I think I've played one once, maybe. Uh, I don't know why. I'd play it. I'd, I'd think uh, I would just be like, yeah, this is cool. Uh, yeah, it would be quite cool, and I do remember. I think it's getting a um, expansion from expansion back, like involving um, the new Top Gun, Top Gun film. That's pretty rad, yeah. which is pretty cool. But if it doesn't have Kenny Loggins, I will fucking write and just like Spotify to it. <laughs> play on a loop. <laughs> yeah, you can uh, get a country version of that song. I know. I that. know. Yeah, and I know where it's from. Archer. Um, yeah, so that was pretty cool. Another game. Uh, spring to mind, I think we might have touched on well privately. Um, <laughs> um, Atomic Heart, um, Bioshock's uh, Eastern European ah. Eastern European cousin. Yeah, it was because if anyone was paying attention to our Twitter, um, <laughs> Matt was on the takeover, and it was one of my favourite tweets saying that Atomic Heart looks like Bioshock's um, Eastern European Eastern European cousin, but it won't ask you to go bowling. <laughs> 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 Which was one of my top top tier toys. Yeah, um, <clears throat> it does look really good because um, mm. that was officially announced last year, wasn't it, or maybe the year yeah, before? Yeah, well, I think it was. Fi- maybe. It wasn't the official announcement this year. I know it that. wasn't the official announcement. I think it's been the work for the last couple of years, and it has it does look good. But I think this is the most I've seen it to be sort of a nearish to finish state. Yeah, it does look really good though. Um, I'm excited, but. I don't know. I have my reservations because they, they we've had um, Bioshock kind of esque games before, and they've not been too great. Like right. Close to the Sun, um, r- like jumps straight to my mind because you can have like the, the game kind of alienated, uh, not alienated. Sorry, you can have the game kind of replicated as new as you can, but then it gets as close enough where it says it's basically like fan service. Yeah. So. It's like how close do you want to emulate without become well without it being too obvious. There's there's getting your inspiration and then there's hitting over the head with it. Yeah, right. Again, my opinion. Why you want? Are they are they releasing more content for Fallout seventy six as well? I think so. Uh, a new yeah. vault, I think. Yeah, it's a new campaign. I think they're going to Philadelphia. I think. Oh right. Yeah, like sort of post pocket for the Delta. Yeah. So they're sti- so they're sticking more with like this art uh, that the, the Fallout seventy six I online baby like like they would with GTA online and that. I, yeah, yeah, they seem to be working. They're going it, yeah. in that direction, isn't it? Yeah, they? they seem to be working. I think uh, the DLC like involved around the uh, the Brotherhood, like the right. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. As I say, I'm trying to remember all this. Fucking nice. I haven't played it. I mean, but uh, I heard it was really bad at the start. But I heard it's probably mm-hmm. pretty playable now. Yeah, I heard it was pretty much. Oh, uh, ironically, a wasteland because there was nothing to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, another one that I'm kind of weirdly cautiously looking forward to, but I don't really know. Uh, Riders Republic. Yeah, I, 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 knew, I heard you were interested in this. It's like it's kind of like, it looks like steep. But yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah steep. steep. No, no, yeah. steep. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It looks yeah. like it, but Steep ran out of things to do pretty quickly because the life service monster took over. Yeah. And it was very much a do this run for no reason. Meet, meet up with these people for no reason. And it looked. Yeah. And Riders Republic is along the same vein, but it's kind of switching between BMXs, uh, snowboards, and then you have the. It's wacky... a little bit more mania in it to be interesting. Yeah, you, you start riding rockets around, and it's like. Mm. Looks right. pretty cool. You but... got me interest with the rocket riding. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty cool, but I don't know. I mean, I'll keep an eye on it. Um, I, yeah, is I it, don't know what is it going to be like one of those things where it was released sort of similarly how, uh, oh, like Onrush was, and then just see that die in like a couple of days or something like that, one, or hope that it has some longevity. Maybe my hill that I will gladly die on is the fact that Onrush was not appreciated enough. Yeah, that is the yeah. hill that I will be crucified on, and I'll be happily cut down in my prime on that hill. <laughs> yeah. That game was a gem, and I loved it. Yeah, and then the player base just died. Player base just died. Yeah, sad. Mm. 
I mean, I think one game I think, well, it's not exactly one I'm looking forward to, but I think it's worth discussion, the Avatar game. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Av- Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. <laughs> I thought it was just going to end there. Yeah, we should discuss the Avatar game. Yep. And that's what we discussed on the Avatar game. <laughs> we, we, should, we should discuss the Avatar game. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'll start, I'll start. It's got blue people in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to point out, Ben, that the audio levels went so high then, nothing oh, that you said just m- made any audio sense. <laughs> sorry. sorry. But anyway, um, to try and sort of like start this up, like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was just sort of a trailer just to say, oh yeah, we're making this thing. Like, I mean, Avatar, like, Avatar was out in late 2009, if I remember correctly. Right. Yeah. Yeah, let's say that. Late two thousand nine. Has Avatar like Avatar the, the It's thing, had no relevance. No had no relevance. It's like I've I mean sure it like you might find it on Disney Plus or might pop on Sky Movies or something like that and you go, Oh well, yeah, it's not a bad film but like the whole interest and all that has completely died out, so it just seems like a very weird thing to for it to come back round. Wait, what sort of game is it going to even be? I uh, like an open world expansion sort of thing, or like what? I don't. I don't. I need to look into it more. But or is it actually going to be focused on like the storyline? Uh, I really don't know. Uh, I mean, I mean, the, uh, I'm, as I say, I'm just sort of reading it up. Um, powered like by cold. Ubisoft Snowdrop Engine, Frontiers of Pandora is a first-person action adventure game. Okay. Right, okay. That's so that tells you the sweet first portion person of the first yeah. person. Yeah, take place in the vibrantly beautiful flora and fauna of Pandora. Was that violently beautiful or vibrantly beautiful? Vibrant, I mean, vibrantly. 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 It probably is going to be violently. It's probably like, oh, vibrantly this looks very beautiful. pretty. And it went, oh, yeah, it'll probably take your hand off. Not you, then. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, but it'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See me on Pandora for more details. Um, <laughs> Boy Gorgeous out on the prowl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come join me on Pandora for a masterclass. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I agree with you because the um, the uh, uh, I nearly said Avengers. <laughs> In, um, what's the film? Uh, uh, Avatar. <laughs> Avatar. That's it. <laughs> I just kept thinking Avengers. Uh, See, Avatar, it's, got, it's had no relevance so much that you've even forgotten about it. In the yeah, last that's five it. Minutes. I'm mid-sentence. My brain bottomed out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the only reason I think it might come back around relevance is because um, I know they're sort of Avatars 2 sort of in the works. So it might, you know, come, sort of come back relevance around that. But it just seems like a very weird time to announce it just out of the blue. Oh, yeah, we're making an Avatar game. Okay. Yeah, it's literally, you could almost feel the wave of the air of everyone shrugging at the same time. <laughs> People are like... Yeah, cool. Um, Always wants to throw back. Yeah, it's, it's. I don't know. I mean, unless um, Ava, I mean Avatar Two, sort of. You know, there's some more details for it, like being announced. Like, oh, here's a reveal trail or something like that. So then relevance can start building, and then maybe it could do okay. But at the minute, it just feels like a bit of a weird, just sort of a weird game to make at this t- time. Mm, I don't know. I mean, I might be interested, but I think I'll be re- uh, approaching it with a raised eyebrow. Yeah, bit of a... Okay, where are you going with this one? One thing I am kind of looking forward to is Stalker 2. Never played the first Stalker, yeah. but it looks really good. I, I played... I've seen that? some stuff about the first Stalker, yeah, and I played a little bit of it. So this, Yeah, the I mean... One, the second one's been a long time in the making for those who have been like in that who've been interested in the first one. It'll be a really, really good game for those who have been like Yeah, I mean into the first game. As I say, I'm probably in the same boat and it, yeah, I think the, the game that sort of reminds me of is Metro is probably not the most direct yeah. compa- comparison. Yeah, no, no, you're pretty much right. Comparison. I mean it does look fairly good and decent. I do like it. I mean the title's a bit weird because I mean we call it Stalker but it's technical it's called S T L A K E R two. No, <laughs> not having any part of that, mate. Well, it does, because it's got full stops and every single word. Oh, yeah, I, I, I saw it, but no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. Uh, cause isn't it set in Chernobyl? Yeah, Chernobyl. Mm. But 
looks good. Don't know much about it. I'll play it. Shit myself. Yeah. I'm installed it. Problem solved. <laughs> yeah, problem solved. <laughs> and I go say 50,000 people used to live in this town. Now it's a ghost town. God. Modern Warfare 2? Modern Warfare. Ah, uh, nearly. Nearly. <laughs> and everyone else, or have we just kind of glazed over all of it? Because like, let's face it, this E3 show wasn't the best. No, well, they're, they're, they're claiming it was the most watched E3. Though. Oh, yeah, it probably was, because what fucking... No one else has got anything to fucking do. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's a, lot, there's a lot of games that kind of, like, interest me, but nothing that sort of take my breath away. Uh, Prince of Persia, the remake? Uh, um, I liked it, and I'll probably pick it up, but... Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. I'd rather wait for it to come out on Game Yeah, Master that's that yeah. I think that was announced at last E3, and it w- was jerked about this year, but they delayed it. <laughs> but yeah, come to think of it. Sorry for yawning. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yawning. Come, come to think of it, is there any games that you would have liked to have seen at the C3? What one that you kind of get instantly the like, hype hype about? Like one that was released last year and then skipped this year. So for me, it would be Fable. Because Fable was meant to be made by Playground um, Games. Playground Games, yes, who picked up, but there was nothing of the sort of this E3, was there? Mm. I think I think they might have. Like, I think Xbox did a, another conference where they went into detail with some of those games. So that's probably if you like you know, stuff like um, uh, like Fable, like um, Skull Bones. Yeah, that was Mr. Mar. I mean, I mean, sort of to sort of slightly expand on that question, like the sort of games that I know deta- in the detail. I mean, one game I would have liked to see is the Indiana Jones game that's being developed by the guys who did the new Wolfenstein games. That would be pretty good. But the problem is, isn't they like no details on that? Mm, not nothing really. They just sort of announced they are making it. I mean, I think I think I've watched the track, like watched the trailer a couple of times. I think it is going to be sort of like. Late twenties, early thirties, and yes, it's going to involve the old Nazis. So you will be tw- punching them in the face. Involve the old Nazis. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how blase I take that. Considering it's just same, same. It's like Nazi. Yeah, Nazis are like um, hobnobs. You can sort of go through them easily without any remorse. Or... <laughs> that's, that, that's not a you analogy. I'm assuming though. No, I think that's sort of a cross between me and Ricky Gervais, but we'll carry on. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't know. I mean, um, yeah. I'm, do you know what? I've never seen. A, I've never seen an Indiana Jones film. Yeah. It's not important. It makes yeah. no difference. It makes no difference. But yeah, that would be one of the games I would have seen. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil Two. I think I would have liked to see a little bit more about that because that's been. Oh my god, that's been in the breaking for ages, though, hasn't it? Yeah, I think that was like announced like. A, 2018, 2017, I'd like to say. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what was the other one? Because um, wasn't there, didn't they release a cinematic last year and then it's gone nowhere beyond Good and Evil 2? Um, I think they announced. They told you nothing. I told you, yeah, I think they announced it one year and then the following year they went into a bit more detail and I think they're teaming up with Hit Record, like the thing is like. Run by Joseph Gordon Levitt, who completely, as again, like Avatar, completely, completely forgotten about him. <laughs> there is no one who is clear of your canon this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you get out of my way, I don't remember you. It's true for I say, yeah, I was in um, Inception. And in anything else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so well and <laughs> Everyone else says, well done. Matt says, what's next? How do we get from I mean, come on, I mean... to missable characters in films? <laughs> Fuck it out. Matt's okay. just Shania Twain. That doesn't impress him much. But, but yeah, I wouldn't like to see a little bit more from that. Um, what other games was that? Uh, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure we've covered the big hairs. Barring yeah. the, sort of the indie showcases... Barring indie, and I think with EF, uh, EA, um, sort of a couple of days from that, a couple of days oh, from now, so we think we covered all the big players. What was that, Matt? Uh, Benjamin? Far Cry Six. Yeah, we kind of brushed it. Far yeah. Cry Six. It looks good, but it's a Far Cry game, so you know exactly what's going to happen. Overthrow right. Dictator, and that's yeah. a lot. Mm. Get kicked out. Make rebellion. Overthrow Dictator. Although the DLC of you 
playing as the previous dictators looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah, okay. that, I mean, I know what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna say. Well, how does it work? I mean, I, I think I've got. I, I, I know how. I think I, I've kind of got an idea how it works. I think apparently it's all like, um, like sort of in their own heads. So like, uh, is it? Yeah, oh, so I think like, um, uh, like the vast. I think like the roles oh, yeah, reverse. So you've got Jason Brody being the, you know, like I think what's that scene like? Do you know the def- definition of insanity? Kind of, that whole monologue. Mm. I think it's going to be sort of the roles reversed a bit. I don't know about Pagan Min or Joseph Seed, who, my God, I think he's got really one of the most boring villains I've ever seen in a video game, but no matter. Who's Joseph? Another one in your line of fire, your cannon, really. Yeah, he was in. He was number five. Yeah, he was in five, and the oh, right, spin-off okay. RPG game, um, New Dawn. I see. I don't remember New Dawn. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that yeah, was I the remember. first direct I sequel. Now. I remember it now. Yeah. God, wasn't that less than a year after the first one? Yeah, which was yeah less than a year. And it came out, and everyone was kind of like, "I really don't know what to think about this." Yeah, I don't know what to think. I mean, yeah. You're saying, yeah, what did a nuclear blast do? Um, just made some animals a bit more different, painted a different colour, and it's a lot more sand all over the place. Cool. <laughs> nuclear, yeah. Nuclear blast didn't actually, wasn't actually that devastating, to be fair. Yeah, just... Yeah. Did, <laughs> you, we... not, did, did, you, did you cover um, Tom Clancy's six, Rainbow Six Extraction? Ooh, no, ooh good point. Po- very good point. Very good point. Yeah. Um, because oh, that's... we've covered it. <laughs> we covered it. <laughs> <that's not> done. <laughs> but yeah, because um, because uh, there was that base, basically it's based on the 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 the, 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 the sort of the time the game mode um yeah. outbreak. Yeah, right, awesome. right, sort of a couple of missions. It was quite good. I liked outbreak. I played it very, very not as much as I wanted to or should have done, but. Oh, that was really good. Yeah, I quite, quite incredible for just a small timed event to then become the full game. Yeah, and I think again that's sort of in a similar sort of made in a similar vein to like Back for Blood and that. Like you're going from safe room to safe room, doing objectives and trying to kill, yeah. well, effectively kill aliens. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks very good, and I'm excited. So should we wrap this one here, boys? Yeah, I think we covered all the. The main oh, bits that we wanted to cover. I slap a big fat bow on it. So, if you've enjoyed our top E3 picks, let us know. Don't forget to do all the good stuff. Let us give us. Let, I was about to say, let us into your hearts. What on earth am I talking about? <laughs> let us into your hearts, like your Jesus fuck and minds. Um, no, d- do the likes and shares and subscribe. Show this video to everyone that you like. Show this video to everyone that you hate as well. But like, oh, these guys know absolutely nothing. Mm. Clicks regardless, don't matter. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. I've been Darren. I've been joined here by Ben. Hello. And I'm lying on my bed. And by Matthew. <laughs> Hello. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye. 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 Bye